The Dynamic Workload Console version 10.2.3 comes with a brand new way to design your orchestration. The new graphical designer. The graphical designer introduces drag and drop functionalities that let you add elements from a palette to a canvas workspace. The palette is divided in two tabs, blocks, from where you can create job streams, jobs and join conditions, add weight elements and drag most frequently used items. Assets, from where you can create new item definitions, add defined items to a job stream, or edit, duplicate and delete definitions saved in the database. After dragging and dropping items, you can start configuring them from the Properties panel. You can also add triggers and constraints to your job streams. A minimap is also available to help you confidently navigate over workspaces that contain multiple complex job streams. For an effective automation, you can add jobs to a job streams in three different ways. Dragging an existing definition. Dragging a new job and referencing an existing job definition. Dragging a new job and defining an embedded job. Furthermore, a smooth user experience is provided thanks to the intuitive creation of dependencies. Do you need a break? You can close the graphical designer and when you reopen it, you will find everything as you left it. Did you complete your work task? It is time to save then. You can select Deploy to save the defined items to the database. The administrator can enable justifications so that users are prompted to provide information when saving or performing changes to items in the environment. After the successful deployment of a workspace, you can delete it, which means that all your previous work has been saved, the canvas is cleared, and you can start a new design session.